Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven kids at 33. I'm not exactly sure. Of course, we don't know what happened or the dynamics of her relationship with the kid's dad. However, why does she have to move on? Why can't she just focus on her and her kids right now? That's what I think is more important instead of her trying to because move she, on with she's another lonely. man. Okay, but she can still date, but they don't got nothing to do with her integrating them with her kids right now. Ah, I got my clicker in my hand. All right, Ubu. Yeah, I'm saying. We got, we got the got... flash. Like, we going to move on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more light yeah. back in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, video number five. <clears throat> Is it over for her? A 33-year-old single mother of seven. Oh, God damn. Is looking for a man to step up. Mm. That's right, y'all. Men need to step up on this 33-year-old the single mother of seven. She got starting five and bench She got starting seven. Start seven. Bitch, jump high seven. No, she got starting five with a oh, bench. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a mom of seven, and I'm 33. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children is still capable of finding someone? First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is going to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you when you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house. Are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the, with the father. Oh, no, no, here Didn't I say send it back you know, she has to be willing to let a man take control of that house. No, but no. also at the same time, children. first of all, wait a minute. Seven kids at 33. I'm not exactly sure. Of course, we don't know what happened or the dynamics of her relationship with the kid's dad. However, why does she have to move on? Why can't she just focus on her and her kids right now? That's what I think is more important instead of her trying to because move she, on with she's another lonely. man. Okay, but she can still date, but they don't got nothing to do with her integrating them with her kids right now. You want to make sure, like, see, I know me when when, when I was raising my kids or whatever. Yeah. I didn't just bring just anybody around my kids. Like I dated people and they never knew where the hell I lived. They may have heard about my yeah. my kids' names, but you ain't going to meet them because you know what? First of all, I need to make sure that you you fit into yeah. my dynamic yeah. before I start introducing let, you to let, my kids. Let me ask so you at the end of the day, it's like, let me focus on my kids. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When you was dating and you had your kids, was it easy for you to find a babysitter? I didn't really go nowhere. I didn't need a babysitter. Okay. So, so how did you date if you, when you wanted to go out on a date, what did you do with them? Um, so at the time, like by the time I started dating, they were older. Only reason I'm asking that is because who the hell watches seven kids on a date? That's a lot. That's a lot. of. So my whole thing is yeah. it, for, for her lifestyle, like again, if she wants the man to provide the, the traditional man providing all of that, that's fine. But she's going to have to find a, and I'm not even talking about financially. Let's take finances off the table. <laughs> She's going to have to find a man who is mentally in a certain place, uh, professionally in a certain place, because there's no way not. I don't want to say no way, but it is very, it's very, a very slim chance that you're going to find that man. She's 33. So if she finds a 33 year old man, the likelihood of a 33 year old man having his own kids 
is probably pretty likely. Yeah. So now if he has one or two, now we talking about feeding ten people. That's Brady Bunch times two. So so <laughs> her chances of finding a very <laughs> slim because it's like you come with a lot of baggage. And just say all the kids are good kids, they well mannered. No, you know, according all, to Ubu, he said there's a there's a definitely a badass one in there somewhere. It, it probably <laughs> is. Out, there out there always seven, is a yes. badass one. <laughs> out of seven is definitely maybe two and a possible. Right. Right. <laughs> and so it's like it's going to be hard. You're going to find them kids find, is run. They, them kids run that house. She's going to have to find a very, very specific type of man who is okay with dealing with that. Like we got y'all little saying the oldest kid is the babysitter. <laughs> no, that's sad. That's but a whole nother. Th- but you know topic, what? But yeah, exactly. But that's, that's, the truth. that's a that's a lot for a man. If I'm if I'm a man and I'm coming into a situation, that's a lot to think about. Because that's yes, a lot. Because again, you. It, as you get to know her and you and you and y'all relationship gets deeper, you're going to have to meet the kids. You're going to be around. Eat, I get think about moving in. So where does she live at right now? Where she has seven beds. Mm. Now me, I'm gonna have to move with her. She can't move with me because I ain't got enough. I don't have enough bedrooms for these kids. <laughs> where we? What we doing? <laughs> like it's really a lifestyle change when you have multiple children like that. That's a whole different lifestyle. He probably used to come at home. Going in his room, sitting down, woo side for a minute. He come in, but I just, oh my God. Yeah, but you know what? That's a little different. This. Look, quick, some some a Kiki White situation, but Kiki White got money. Right. And she cool. Kiki White Puff, so. Kiki White can pay for babysitter. She got an in-home babysitter, a living babysitter. At that. I mean, you know, he for one, the type of man that type of man that she is gonna have to find. I'm sure she's probably looking for. Is one a confident man, a man with structure, a man who is well off professionally, you know what I'm saying, and who's willing, who's willing to take on her her children, and she has to relinquish that control. Yes, that's you know number saying? one, and that's the hardest part. That is number for one. single mothers is to relinquish that control. You can't because he at one point in time or another. He's going to have to discipline those yes, children, or, or, or not even from a discipline standpoint. If I got certain structure in my house, you're going to have to relinquish that control because it's like, listen, you brought this to me. I'm used to living this way. My house is a certain way, or maybe mm-hmm. after a certain time, it's eight thirty. I don't really have no noise in my house. My TV's down low. I'm, yeah, I'm, but I'm just because she got a man, that don't mean he got to necess- necessarily live in a house. So, like y'all talking about, like a you know. A domesticated type of situation like well he don't have to necessarily live in a house just because she got a man don't mean he have to live there but what's the point of it like the purpose of the relationship is to become one <laughs> exactly so it, but it, you gotta also get, at the same time once again if she just stopped dealing with the baby daddy because all these i don't care where's the, the baby man, daddy where is home. he first said, of all thank you but <laughs> <laughs> i took all these kids to, thank you girl i love you <laughs> <laughs> you need me to pay for that first date hey listen. Uh, whatever you got these kids i'm cool no. hey listen baby daddy Send the boy text I, on my, right. from no, a they, female, your problem. Look, female's my perspective, I honestly think she just needs to focus on her right now instead of trying to worry about, you know, dating and stuff like that. But again, instead like I said, I mean, we don't know here. where she at. I mean, because, mm. you know, like I said, maybe she's but think she about that. But, but, but think about that, too. She, how the hell she lonely with seven kids? Well, she man Because she probably tired, you know what I mean? But think she growing up with that, that damn rose. But think about Or hugging that vibrator. She created that. But look, she think, had those kids. Think about it. What do they always say? They always say that, you know, a lot of women focus on their kids and their career and all that and then by the time they get back into the dating pool they, they didn't max they self out because it's like you're not used to what's going on out here so she don't want to take too much time because then those kids, those kids get older and now she get back in the dating game and she don't even know what she's getting herself into so she has to balance both of them and unfortunately having seven kids that's a lot because yeah. think, yeah. th- think about if she just wanted they wanted to go on a a, 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 like a play date go to the park uh, not the park uh clementon park or something like that not much money that is six flags think about think about look, going to, and that's just entry they don't have that's not even touching food. even even if he take her to chili two for 20 that's, oh my that's four two for 20 oh my god <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah well, that's your two for two hundred. That's a two for two thousand. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, this your podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think.